right, we are back in the building. Had some crazy technical difficulties. We've got it solved, so we're going to rock. We're, we're good for the rest of the day. We'll be, we'll be okay. Um, some craziness. Don't know what happened, but um, we're good now. There we go. All right, you guys, sorry about that. Um, you know, there's nothing we can do. I think this weather is just playing havoc with the net. Got my man Owen Pinkerton in the building. He's in the house. We got a we got Ben, my man Ben Kleinfelter. Let me just get the stream stuff right. Get it up. It's Ben Kleinfelter versus Brent Worth. Score is two to one. I'm fixing it now. Ben's, Ben's a really great player. Yeah. Um, played Ben a few times. and um, He's he awesome. Tends to get the better of me sometimes, but uh, he's, he's a great player, though, so it's yep. no foul on that him. Happens. I think the score is 2-1, to one, and uh, we should be rocking. Thank you guys for uh, hanging out. First game, did you see that 80 uh, kicked into the side? Yeah, that was crazy. I was uh, pretty lucky, but... He could have been playing for it a little bit, you know, just trying to stop that cue ball and uh, maybe send that uh, object ball up table. For sure. All right, let me just find out where this thing goes. Brent's going to have to take a little bit. B Wizzy going to have to take care of that cue ball. There okay. we go. All right, we're on the rocking, guys. Sorry about the, the delay, the drama, but uh, we're good. Just finished up my match against uh, Riley Adkins. Yeah. That kid can play. Uh, yes, sir. That's took him, facts. Took him to the hill. Oh, good. Um, I played good, but uh, he had a, a break He had a break and run to mm -hmm. make it. Because I was up 6-4. That'll um, do it. And then he had a break and run to uh, get to 6-5. But he, he was trying to play safe um, and hit a ball and made two at the same time. Hey. Trying to play safe. And then he ran out. So um, good there on you him. Go. You know, that's a... He's probably playing, goes. playing something, you know, and yeah. um, I missed a straight-in three ball the last rack to, uh, do it. to win it. So, um, Eric Easy e yeah, Landon took that last match. He took that match down. I think Ben, uh, being the player that he is, I think he's going to bank this and go three rails to the center of the table to shoot this four. He's going to duck. You think so? No, he's going to shoot. <laughs> You, you think he should duck, though? Yeah, no, no. He can make this bank. Yeah, I think it's you have to get around bank. to get to the good side of the ball. You have to, you have to get around, like probably around where the five is. See, my problem is hitting the five here. I really would not want to interfere with that five at all because if you come into the line of that five at all, you're going to be behind it. So you really got to hit this good and focus on pocketing the bank. If I get behind it, I'm gonna have a shot on the four. Oof. Kind of overspin that a little nah, bit. He, no, because he was afraid of getting hooked behind that, yeah. <laughs> that uh, five ball. But good shot. Good on him. Kind of a tough shot here. He's on the rail. Um, if he rolls this ball, he might scratch inside. Um, but he might play it forward enough to hit the five, which might be okay. Well, the one thing about Brent, he is not shy about shooting. He will shoot. I seen him shoot a few times this, this rack. He shot that bank on the one ball and... Um, looks like he's shooting pretty good. Yeah. Cut it a little thin. It's a tough shot, though. Very tough on that rail. Uh, leaving Ben kind of a... Not a similar shot, but he'll just be able to shoot this in the corner, go one round. Shane's got late jazz. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> My man Jazz, I wish you well. All right. Rocking and rolling, guys. Ben Kleinfeld to the side pocket. Kleinfelter to the side pocket. You think so? Yeah. I kind of like the oh, corner, corner here. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah you're like right. You're right. 
Yeah, I like the corner. Just yeah. Maybe center, even center. I just stun this because you can't miss it if you stun it, really. Yeah, Eric, he was. Um, See, he, uh, oh, he must be. Is this a? Is this this an important match, right? Yeah, it's important. Is this a? Is this a loser side? I don't know, but you know how you can find out. You Look at the bracket. There I know. You, there you go. What's up, John? I, dead. I, a, I brought a charger in here, but I think I lost it. Mm. It's no worries. Yeah. I what think up, this John? is one loss because I think Ben lost to Pain. Okay. Um, yeah. Well, here's the thing. You got to fight. Mm -hmm. Right? This one loss side is, is it's brutal. Brutal. Yeah, it's brutal, bro. You can't make mistakes. No, no. Nobody wants to go home early. Mm -mm. You got you to gotta fight for your right to party, buddy. I agree. So, you know, if, if you get a chance and you, you have a chance at the table, man, just capitalize. Oh, yeah. You know, put all your energy into that. Yeah. I think he's... Man. That's wow. A, that's a stroke city right there. That's wow. a good shot by Mr. Wow. Mr. B. Wizzy. That's a great shot. Yeah. Really had to put a good stroke on that ball. Yes, he did. All the stroke. Yep. It's a little flat on this ball. Um, yeah. This is the Pro-Am, Dylan. Mr. Waugh. It's my man, Dylan Waugh. I think he's just going to go two rails here around the eight. Play for a little longer shot on the six ball. Yeah, he's going to make sure he gets there. Yeah, he really <coughs> needs to get there. This is the, this is, if he, I think this is the key shot right here. If he makes this, I think he runs out. Yeah. Yeah, I miss you too, man. Big D. He rolled it. it yeah, gives him nah. an automatic shot. I like it. Yeah, I mean, it keeps him at the table. Yeah, it does keep him at the you table, and that's what's important. I like the angle, though, too. It's a pretty I good guess. angle. He'll just come two rails into the line of the seven. Oh, you mean going back and forth? Yeah, I know what you're saying. Yeah, just like that. Yeah, yeah I think he... Uh, I think he's probably a favorite to make this ball. I think this is kind of probably one of his favorite shots. Yeah. Because um, I, I know he loves to draw the cue ball. I know he loves to move it with outside spins. So right. I think uh, he's going to load this up with outside and low and just really hammer away at this ball. Well, if he does hammer away, he better use a good hammer. Mm-hmm. I, uh, I want to watch his head here to see if he uh, he moves because I think that will be the, the key yeah. to whether he makes it or um, misses it. Sorry. Uh, ben, and, ben and Rodney, I still do – big events. I, I have a couple of them uh, lined up. I'm doing the um, North uh, South Challenge with Mike Littman in Oregon. Me and Jeremy Jones. I'm going to do that. Okay. He didn't even need to hit it as, as hard as I thought. Yeah. Um, he hit that really well. Yeah. Really controlled. I'm going to figure it out. I've been really on juniors. And the brackets are in the description, my man. It's digitalpool.com Traveling from the 8 to 9 is a little tricky here. Um, he's a little flat on the 7 once again. Um, but I'm sure he'll make it work. I mean, he really hasn't faltered so far with shots. I think he might even just roll forward and then... Uh, Take his medicine on 8. I think he's going to... I think he might cross the line of the 9 here. Even though you're not supposed to. I think he's going to do it anyways. Because it's still pretty much guaranteed position. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a good shot. Uh, he'll probably, he played that really well, actually. I think he's just going to, he's going to go two rails right into the line of the nine. Mm -hmm. Not quite the line, but it'll be close enough to make it, you know. Uh, Brandon Lewis, that wasn't, that was not me on America Says. I don't know what That's my doppelganger. <laughs> nah, he's good. Can't you just go forward here two rails? I think you go back two rails. Oh, oh draw it? Yeah, because I think. One, two, that looks so much more natural Yeah, to that's, me. that's true, but you can go forward and come down yeah. to the side pocket. Right? I just don't like using inside. I think he's going to juice this up with inside. Oh, he's a juice master. And he goes one round. That's fine. That's beautiful. That's fine. Perfect. Low, low. No. I just like two rails. Two yeah. rails controls the ball for you. Yeah. You don't have to do any work. Yeah, that makes sense. I bet he, uh, he'll make it, though. No worries. Yeah. He's taking his time looking at the line. That's what you need to do, because if you leave that for Ben Kleinfelder, he's going to make you pay. Mm -hmm. I'll let you know that right now. Nice. <laughs> Brandon Lewis, yeah. 
two, oh, two. Two, two. That's what we're doing here. We're rocking and rolling, guys. Oh, man, this is a crazy thing. There we go. Racing to seven. This is stop number two. We are big dog billiards in Iowa. I'm going to go find my walk. Okay. Okay. Big dog billiards in Iowa. Holding it down. All right, you can go to the side pocket, freeze them up on the five. All right, we're going to have a woman's point of view in the house. You know enough, go ahead. <laughs> this is all good. Just talk to me. We'll be good. All right. Tell them who you are. I'm Yesenia. All right. Last name? Morissette. From? Minnesota. All right. And you love pool? Yes. I see it. How long have you been playing pool? Since I was like 10, 11. Wow. And how are you now? 12? 15. All right. <laughs> see, see, see. There you go. All right. Uh, I know. I don't know Yesenia. I know her now, but I know her dad because I used to do events over there at the break room. Over there at the break room, he used to come over there. Um, some eight ball events, big high level and with Duluth? the big dogs. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I did those. Big shout out to the break room. Now we have um, Brent Worth and my man Ben Kleinfelter tied 2 2, racing the set. I saw Ben playing against Payne. Yeah, Payne McBride. Yeah, they should be pretty good. Yeah. Really good. Yeah. And Bryant, um, he came up to Minnesota yeah. with uh, Nico. Yes. Yeah, they were at the Hex Tournament, too. All right. Mary said, what's up, Yesenia? Oh, hi. <laughs> You're a little star now, see? There you go. <laughs> right on. I just try to give opportunity to, to all, any of the juniors, man. Maybe they want a career in broadcasting. Maybe they just want to talk about pool but it's an opportunity to get to know you saying i'm gonna tell you this right now if you don't know this young lady you're going to get to know her because if she keeps playing pool you're going to know her name that's a fact mm -hmm. uh you when you played your match you played very good nice fundamentals yeah. you know i don't play on nine footers you don't play oh my no wow never. oh because it's minnesota bar buck city yeah <laughs> yeah a ball yeah yeah i play an apa but Seven foot nine ball is just not my thing. Not your thing? No. Okay. You like the eight ball, the uh, defensive parts of it? Yeah. I mean, I like big table. I do yeah. like big table nine ball especially, but we just don't get to play. Yeah, we got to change that. Um, who is it? Was it CRs? Not CRs. What's the, what's the pool halls in Minnesota? Not two Stooges. What's the other one? The big one. Twin. Shooters? Shooters, yeah. Hey, shooters. We want to bring the juniors down there. Somebody hit Brahan up. Let's see what's going on. Because Minnesota has a great, um, they have a, a lot of great juniors here. Mm -hmm. They have a, enough to shoot. So, shooters, you want to make it happen? Contact me. What's up, Gloria Jean? How you doing? See, I got the ladies in the house. You know how I do it. Yeah, I love shooters. It's really big. It's really old, too. It's yeah. Old school. Good. It's old a great school environment, though. Out. Good. The nine footers are like buckets. Okay. They're Brunswick, I think. Right. But I don't know. I've only played on them once in a tournament. Okay. 
Yeah. Well, that's good. We're going to change that. We're going to, I was uh, talking with Savannah Wolford, and we're talking about the difference. What do you think the biggest difference is between in men's and women's pool? And you can be dead honest. Um, I don't know. I feel like a lot of the women play the same. The like, same as, as what? As like, in what? their fundamentals are the same, and they play usually the same shots. Okay. Like, when I watch professional women play. Right. And I don't know what it is, but, like, I, I think about this because I do watch men most of the time. Uh-huh. But when I do watch women, because I do like to, Absolutely. it's just, I don't it's two different worlds, and it's weird to me, and I don't understand why. Yeah. Yeah. Well... In the uh, the scheme of things, they say it's because men are more aggressive than women, so men are going to try to run out more all the time. They're going to fire at balls. They're going to take a you know full table draw shot where where a woman might play safe. I disagree. There you go, and you disagree because because I feel like pool mm-hmm. gives like men because they do seem more aggressive or yes. it's like yeah but pool makes them more calm and more like like they use their brain more I okay like. no. okay i like that so you don't think there's a lot of big difference between men and women playing pool good shot there by brentworth no i don't i think women like can strive to be just as good as the top men players nice that's exactly what i want to hear i love that like Kelly Fisher, she is who I strive to be. She's 100%. on. She's on. She's on. She's on go. Yeah. Kelly's a good buddy of mine. For sure. And Allison, mm-hmm. those guys. I think that you know, with the younger uh, females like uh, Christina Takach, Margaret Fefalova, um, those girls, I think they're changing how pool is played for women. Yeah. Um, Margaret is at the Hex tournament right now, yeah. and she's been playing really good. Oh, like, she plays super good. Yeah, she beat um, a few, like, she was on the winner's side for the long time in yeah. the 10 ball, the pro 10 ball. And now I look at the brackets, and she's still winning. I think she won her first two in the pro 8 ball, or the mm. open 8 ball. Awesome. Yeah, she's good. doing good. Shout out to her. Shout out to ladies playing pool. I just wanted to be even keel. We just think, you know, guys get up, they put racks together. We yeah. got to get to where the women do the same thing to you. What's up, Nate Childress, the GOAT? My man right there, Nathan Childress. What's up, Nate? Every, we were just talking about you uh, a little while ago, that he's the GOAT of the JIC. He he's won. another junior? Yeah, he's not a junior. He's doing another thing. He... he Win the pro am, win the eighteen u, win the pro am with the, he he just he just did it. He played so good. That's like Joey, right? Joey is just now this year getting there. Oh. Last year when Nate was here, he couldn't get there. I saw he's on the list of um, the best eighteen u boys in the world. Yeah. The top. Yeah. yeah. By their Fargo, right? Yeah. Yeah. He's by yeah. Fargo. Yeah, he's up there. A lot, of, a lot of these young gentlemen and young women are up there. Yeah. So, yeah, good. I'm glad you have that attitude about women's pool because that's going to serve you well. Also, there are breaks, too. Like, Guys breaks? Yeah, but I feel like now that something has changed in the women's breaks, and I think it's fundamentals mostly Yeah. because it's not all about power, like, to a certain extent. Mm. Um, okay. I've been taught to, like, it's all in the body, really. Yeah. Like, yeah. and hitting it square. Right. But I've been taught to like move up. Right so when you like, hit it. Yeah. Yeah, you move up, so you so you put more. Yeah. Yeah. The, yeah. I, I shout out to my man Tony Robles. He taught me that way too. I used to be right to the edge of the table, mm-hmm. so that you you follow through all yeah. the way. I yeah. got you. I but got you. My break has improved so much. Oh, and I heard you guys talking about. Yeah. How I, have a break. <laughs> I was like, why is she breaking with her playing cue? I was yeah. about to get you a cue. Till Pop says you got one on, uh, you got one coming. Soon, hopefully. Um, I got a lot of ozone bucks back in Erie. Okay. But apparently, like you, cause I want what a want? BK rush. Oh, okay. Yeah. BK but rush one or two, sport grip, non-sport grip. I want a sports grip. Okay. In the future, I would like to like put a leather grip on it because mm. that's what I like. Okay. But that's just doing the most, and it'll take a long time. But 
Yeah, my break has improved, and I do break with my playing cue often. Like, I'll break for hours practicing my break yeah. with my break cue. I mean, I'm, with my playing cue. I'm just cue. saying. So we would say you play with your, with your playing cue. How about if your tip falls off? What if? Yeah. Right. I, See? Yeah. You having a backup shaft? That's the same as the other one? No. See? Yo, out there, this is your man, Ra Hanna. I know my girl, Yesenia, has a BK Rush on back order. Anybody got one out there for cheap, they want to do something, we could do something. Hit me up on the DMs. That's how we do it. That's nice. That's how we do it. We got to support pool, man. We got to support pool how, however, it, however, in whatever form and stuff that happens. Yeah. Before, it didn't matter because I didn't break hard at all. Right. Like, at all. But, like I said, my break has definitely improved Good for you. Yeah. Good. And I'm glad you understand the mechanics. All right. Right now, my man, Mr. B. Wizzy, Mr. Brent Worth, is trying to, he's trying to put the work on my man, Mr. Kleinfelter. He shoots so smooth. Oh, which one? Ben? Brent. Oh, yeah. Brent? Yeah. 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 He's been working on his game. Big shout out to my man, D. Atkins. Um, you know, helping helping all the juniors with with his with their games. Yeah, I saw they were there. All oh, the yeah. JC kids. Um, yeah. All last like, month? Yeah, was it this last month? month? This month. They're always by D's house. Yeah. In the, in the little center, you know. This is cool. You like that? Yeah. Watch this. Well, we, well, you can't see it now. I usually have them filled. But you see how the space is? Because the space, yeah. is, you know, they trip over wires and stuff. So, yeah. So now you can just ride on sink. Is it 3-2 Brent? It's 3-2 Brent, right. And here we go. Oh, okay. So like I said, if anybody out there, you know, got a BK, has got a good deal, hit me up. See if we could do something. You know how I do. I'm always moving stuff, so. Mm, I thought he missed that. <laughs> it looked like it in here. Right, yeah, yeah. You have to be careful. You have to be careful. So if you could take lessons from any any pro, who would it be? Pro? Well, yes. Um, which, 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 which is your favorite pro? Okay, I don't have, like, a specific favorite. Which is your favorite, which is your women pro that you watch the most? Women pro? Kelly um, Fisher. I actually like to watch Christina. Tkach? Yeah. That's my homie. I don't really watch women's pool a lot, though. No? Like, no. no. You watch men's pool? Yeah, I like watching... Um, Fedor. Oh. I like watching Shane, 100%. Yeah. I like watching Albin Ocean. He, his stroke, like... Albin, right? Yeah. He just reminds me kind of of myself. He's also left eye dominant, and mm -hmm. I used to be way far down on my left eye, but yeah. for some reason, it just changed, and that happens a lot. Like, people change mm -hmm. their fundamentals and what they're used to all the time. Yeah. But I definitely need to get back over. I have been trying. There you go. Because I definitely shoot straighter. So I want to try to get, like, how Albin is far on his left eye because mm -hmm. um, Gene Albert. Um, Gene Albert, yeah. yeah. He, Gino the Machino. Yeah. He taught me about my left eye dominancy and how, like, I'm pretty far left eye. Mm -hmm. So that's how I definitely need to shoot. Okay. But I love watching Albin play. He He's just that's so. He's not a bad guy to watch. No. He's so, like. Composed. composed, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're pretty composed, too. I was like, man, this girl ain't going to crack a smile or nothing. She's looking to, to, to punch holes in people. Yeah, it's funny because um, Braylon, Braylon Jensen. Oh, that's my man. Yeah. Shout out to Braylon, little mallet. That's my little bro. Yeah, so little bro bro? Yeah. He's cool. Yeah. People actually think that we are siblings sometimes. I, I can see a little resemblance. Yeah, because we're both mixed, I guess. I don't right. know. But he was playing over there, and he, like broke and the cue ball jumped off the table and that was like the only time during that match on the live stream table that I like laughed. Yeah. Because he always does that because <laughs> that kid's break is insane. Yeah. He'll get it right. But yeah, I See? Don't... You got fans. Said, I like your interview. You're right on. Yeah, that's, uh, she's from Albert Lee, Minnesota. Okay. Yeah, I know her. Minnesota in the house. Yeah, her, um, her grand daughter i think i'm not sure mm -hmm. she plays pool she's a junior pool player Good. Yeah. awesome all right brent taking his time checking the angle 
Because that's the worst. You run out and you miss the nine ball, you leave it hanging or something. That's the worst. It's got to be like, oh, my God, what am I doing? He really wants this. Yeah, he should. My friends would say, you got to grind every ball. When you start taking them for granted, that's, that's what happens. Mm -hmm. mm. mm. Got to stay smooth. All right, three to three. We are making it happen. All right, I want to give a shout out to my sponsors. Let me see. We got Dynaspheres in the house. That's the set of balls we're using right now. Chris Wilson and the League Room. Always solid. My man Matt Sweet with American Beard Covering. And uh, Littman Lights, man, my, my guy. That's my guy, Mike Littman, man. That guy is just the truth, for real. So, let's go. We're happy. I got my little buddy here. I just send you in the house. And we're rocking. You can check her out. Um... In yesterday, yesterday's video, she was on the TV table. You check out those fundamentals, and if you got any any sponsors out there that want to uh, sponsor somebody that's not in the top ten yet, but will be, I, I bet that, I bet in a uh, year or something they're going to be knowing your name. They're going to be like, "Wow, I didn't, I remember that girl." One hundred percent. Yeah, one hundred. Yeah, yeah, I could tell. I could tell you got the you got the driving determination. Who did you play again? Who are you playing? I played Skyland. Oh, uh, yeah. And yeah. Skyland, too, up and coming, you know, sitting there, focus. I love it. Like, you know, the JIC, I'm, I'm for the women. And if more, tell them, and this is your first time, tell them yeah. the exact how you feel about coming here. How would you feel? Oh, I was mad excited. Like, I was so excited. Yeah. Like, so excited. But it's just, like, most of these kids, a lot of them, like, I've watched um, a lot of the girls' matches yeah. um, on Facebook. And they are just all so experienced, and most of them have nine footers, and they play in these tournaments. Mm -hmm. How many JSCs have they? This have is been? this is um. I have two more after this. Sixteen. Sixteen. Okay. It's so our second year. Okay, a lot of them I've seen have been playing since like almost the beginning. That's and right. I I knew that, but mainly I came here to Iowa for experience. Good for you. I wanted to win, yeah, but it would have been really hard. Yeah, really hard. Pops told me. Pops said uh, your eight ball game is no joke. Yeah, I've definitely been getting better. Good. Yeah. Good. I play a lot of eight ball. I'm actually going to Wisconsin. Yeah, Wisconsin, and playing on a team at Top Hat. Okay. With Kennedy and Kendra. That's good. Yeah. Kennedy's the homie. Yeah. Yeah. She's, She's good cool. people. She's All very right. cool. Yes, she is. Ben Kleinfelder with the bridge. I hate bridges. You, you got to love the bridge. I hate you got to say the bridge is your friend. You got to love it. I barely use it. You better get used to it <laughs> or play perfect position. Right. Or get six feet tall where you don't have to use it. <laughs> and uh, Mary said her granddaughter, Michaela Bass. Yeah, Michaela Bass, yeah. Uh, that was a well-struck ball. Very well. That's the thing about pool. You, you get, if you just say, stay on the right side of the ball, it's easy. If I you know. get to the wrong side, it's super tough. Pros make nine footers look so easy. But exactly. It's because they always stay on the right side. That's it. it. And it's just discipline. You have to, you know, you have to grind every ball. You can't take a ball off and back oh, all and get there like right there. See. Now he has a long shot. Yeah, you know, it's not that he did it on purpose. He mm -hmm. j just mis misjudged the speed. Those shots are tricky. Ah, young champion on the mic, Nathan Childress. This is Yesenia. Say your last name again. Morseth. The yes Yesenia Morseth from Minnesota. <laughs> Gotta love Minnesota. Gotta love it. Yeah, she's coming up, and you know she's understanding mm -hmm. the trials and tribulations of the young ladies playing on pool and she said the one thing I wanted to hear she said there's no difference in men and women pool we're going to get there I that's good I 100% think that that's good 100% that, that's how you change culture you got to believe you don't believe if, it's, if you're just talking then it's a problem alright 
Brent's going to jump out the window right here and bank the shape. He's going to bank it. I barely played any banks. I was afraid of banks. <laughs> because just like my kicks, I don't, it's just so different on the nine footers. Right. I just don't trust it. Yeah. That, and that's, that's, that's a big problem. You got you to gotta practice how you're going to play and you got to play on the equipment that you're going to play on. You can't go from a seven foot to a nine footer. No. Yeah, it's it's hard though. Like yeah. my parents work during the day. No, it's all good. It's all good. That was a nice try. Yeah, I did actually. How do you know? The farm. He's gonna have to reach though. Maybe with the bridge. Well, if he can get across the table, he'll stretch out. Yeah, he's pretty tall. Yeah. Oh, then he can reach that. See? Yeah. Well. Uh, yeah. I, the, the only time I practiced on a diamond nine footer was like a week no like two weeks ago maybe a week and a half ago mm -hmm. and I played at Twin Cities Billiards which I'm actually actually sponsored by yeah oh yeah. nice give Along them with a shout Kennedy, out my man. give yeah. them a shout out shout out to Twin Cities Billiards Word up, in Twin Little Cities. Canada Minnesota there you go yeah see fellas I didn't have to tell her to shout out her sponsor she shout them out herself you guys gotta get on the ball and JD and Kendra's company what is it? What is it called? I'm gonna have to. Look, have to look at it. <laughs> it's, it's a long name. <laughs> well, you you handle it. Yeah, but um, oh, Young Buck Billiards. That's there right, you go. Young Buck Billiards. They sponsor me, Michaela Bass, actually, mm -hmm. and Jax, Seaboy. Oh Brandon yeah, I know Jax. Yeah, mm -hmm. Jax is right there actually playing. Yeah. I don't know what the score is on that game. Yeah, because they don't have it. So I'll give you a clue. There's a penny down there, so that's two. They're moving it on the diamond. Oh, I yes, can't yes. see it on the other side. That was a nice break. Yeah. Shot on the one. So when you do practice, what is your what does your practice consist of? Landon Hollingworth is still in Talina. Yes, he is. Um. Well, fun fact, I have a six and a half foot table. Okay. Yeah, so it's really small, but I like to. It's really hard to do drills. Mm -hmm. Really hard. Like, yeah, but I will play whatever, um, like, what my nearest tournament is. If it's nine ball, then I'm going to play nine ball. If it's eight right. ball, I'm going to play eight right. ball. But I usually practice on my break. I like to practice shots that I miss, which are kind of rail shots. I used to be really good at rail shots when, like, the cue ball, or not the cue ball, but the object ball's object frozen. Ball's on the, yeah, mm -hmm. not frozen. I can make those shots. My right. dad taught me a little trick. Just little put trick. a little inside, and it'll just throw it right in. Mm -hmm. But um, what else? I, I practice for like four hours a day. I try five mm -hmm. hours at the best. Good. Um, nice. Greenville, South Carolina is in the house. I practice. I try to practice my safeties. My safety game isn't that strong, but I you try to practice my safeties. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. I'll like play it as if I'm playing in a normal match, but even if I have a shot, I will try my best to mm -hmm. play a safety. Look at different options. Good for you. Yeah. I'm telling you, you get a little bit of instruction. You're, you're going to go far because you have the right mindset. You can see. You can see because even. When things weren't going your way, you kept you kept your resolve. You know, you didn't frown, you didn't do that. You just kept you kept your resolve. That's that's part of it. Yeah. You know. I agree. That's why I tell them in the JIC is like, listen, you're gonna lose. You're gonna lose bad too. It depends on if you learn from it. And all these kids in the JIC, like if you miss, it's not always guaranteed. Like you're not always gonna be guaranteed another shot. That's right. And that's what we're trying to build because, you know, I just want, I, I've been doing pool probably all my life, you know, uh, in front of the mic, interviews, all that things. And, you know, I just feel felt bad, you know, watching these other kids from other countries and just having some opportunities that we didn't have. Right. Because I, I think the biggest uh, difference is that the Europeans, they have the Euro Tour. And you can go and play pros all the time, every month. You can, yeah. you can play. You can play Ralph Souquet. You can play these great players. And if you're, you're inclined, you can learn. You can learn from it. If you, if you don't, you know, then you're just going to get beat up for nothing. 
Experiences definitely want to You better believe it. Peace. Experience is good if you apply it. Mm-hmm. If you just get beat up to get beat up, <laughs> you know, then that's no no good. Yeah. It's just like people who gamble. Oh, you want to get better? Gamble. Well, if I lose all my money, how much better did I get? No. How about I take that money and, and uh, invest it in some lessons? How about I do that? Yeah. I think I'll get my money's worth. These shots are tough. Yeah. But I, I've been getting really better at, like, really good at them. Good. Like, I, I have, like, kind of a trick. Uh-oh. Kind don't of. let your secrets out. I don't know what, why, like, I make it work, but I do. It's weird. Hey, what works for you works for you. Yeah. All right, Brent, what an opportunity here, except that the four doesn't pass the seven. So he has opportunity. I don't know if he can. I think the five's in a way from him. From him coming to the other side of the he floor. He try to play under it. Yeah. Well, you know, my man would say, if you don't like money, you can shoot that shot. <laughs> what would you do if this is your table right now? You shoot the three and go two rails, try to come under the four. What are you going to do? I might even try to, I don't know. I would think rail first. Okay. Let's see and what my man Brett does. Yeah, try, yeah. Inside angle straight back. Yeah, he's probably going to go safe. Roll now, it up on the seven. Yeah. Oh, look at you, fancy pants. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're from Minnesota. <laughs> Those Minnesota people play lock up pool well. Yeah, they do. This is it. Yeah, he just he just rolls this and but here's the thing. It's you that know, kind of an angle too, so he might even go to the rail. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You would have to thin this ball. See, the difference, I think, if you can get the four to the to the opposite rail and then just leave him there and go rail to rail. See, that was a good shot. That's, he that's almost to be, doomed. Yeah, he, was like, he would like to be frozen. Though. Exactly. Because if you're frozen, you take some of those directions away. Yeah, for sure. Oh, 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 oh. That was a good hit. he almost split the wicket on that one. A good try. Opportunity for Mr. Brent to make it 4-4. Four, four. I can't tell if he can draw off. He might even draw off the 7, but on right. here it doesn't look like it, and yeah. I can't tell from this angle. No, he's good. Now, what I, what I do like from here a lot of times... Now, here's the thing. If you do play it off this seven, right, if you don't catch that ball full, you're going to be down table with a long shot on the five. Yeah. Right? So he can, if he trusts his stroke, if he has enough, he can hit this with inside and go two rails be on the other side of the table to get on that five. Which he might do. That shot is just so tricky. Brent plays a lot of those uh, tricky two shots. No. Yeah, he's looking to come off the seven. Just hope it don't keep him down table. Oh, he just saw. Oh, that was good too. He got lucky, then unlucky. Mm -hmm. Did, did, did you unlucky and then lucky? Right. Do you do you jump or you kick? What's your first choice? Here. Yeah. Kick. All right. One rail. One, yeah. Okay. Or actually, I might try to catch like you see where he's mm -hmm. looking, like right there That's first, right. this rail right yep. here, and then come out so she's saying two rails one yeah. rail into the corner come off the end rail so the cue ball heads up towards the five right see and you was all scared so it's kind of, man listen i i've never I'm done this like, that's good you're doing well chat room is the first time in the booth so we're giving her some love is landon still in yeah he is in the pro-am yeah he played Bethany. I think it was seven to zero. Really? Yeah. He just ran out. Oh. Yeah, Landon's pretty tough. Landon is uh, used to be running partners with Nathan Childress. His name sounds familiar. I think I watched his match once. I was at Kennedy's house, and I think it was during the time of the Moscone, and we were just watching um, the JIC before mm -hmm. we start the Moscone or something like that, and he was playing against. 
I want to say it was another big 18, 18-year Junior. Yeah. So you got Joey Tate. You got Lazaro Martinez. You have Riley Atkins. Laz, he is really good. Yeah. I, I saw him for Shout out. really good. He's nasty, right? Yes. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. Him and his brother. His brother's, brother's great, too. And they're young, right? Yes. They're like 15. Six, 15, 15, 16. 16, yeah. Wow. Yeah. The junior pool world is just blowing up. That's exactly right. Exactly right. He got That's a little fun here. Do. Yeah. Yeah. If he just takes a natural angle into that side, he has to watch out for the scratch in the corner. Mm -hmm. He has to manipulate just a little bit. Mm -hmm. See, he was, think he was thinking about that scratch. He shot that ball a little quick, too. Now, Brent, saying this isn't a, a hanger here. Mm -hmm. The shot, if you don't have the, the cut shot, is to bank the one the eight ball back down table, right down by the nine, and leave the cue ball up table. Mm, yeah. And make your opponent beat you. But you juice this ball up, you, you're going to have to show me. I'd shoot it. And you shoot it? Yeah, I think he might try to go to Back cut? Or three rails. Okay. No, not oh, back cut. Okay, I see what you're saying. Yeah. You're gonna shoot it in the I opposite. Know he is back you're gonna shoot it in the opposite corner and go three rails to come around. Yeah. Yeah. But he's going the opposite way. He don't like money. I wouldn't do that. That's scary. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is Brent Worth. If he if he smooths it in, he's good. He's just gotta watch that scratch. Gotta watch that scratch. See, that's that's almost the same shot. It's, it's a little bank. Now, Ben Kleinfelter with a long, difficult shot. Almost straight into. He's gonna have to hit it hard. Or actually, no, there's an angle. Yeah. No, he, uh, you know, it's still tough from yeah. where he's at. He'd have to hit it hard to get a lead on the line. Mm -hmm. Just stay smooth. Crazy because I said I got a little trick for those shots. That was a nice mm. shot. He's so oh, wow. That was a very nice shot. That was gin. He hit that ball good. But yeah, like I said, I got a little trick, I like to say. Mm. But when I played Bethany, right? Yeah, I, I think it was Bethany. I had that same shot, had the angle, but it was um, more towards the middle of the table and the QL right. was up table on the rail, and I missed it. But mm. right after the game ended, I made it. <laughs> just just like that. We say that's on count. All right, Mr. Worth taking a quick break. I'm going to play a commercial. This is the JIC. Check us out. We back in the building. This your man, Ra Hanna. I have your senior Moore Seth. We are in the house. She's asked me that I play pool. I said, back in my college days, I played a ton of pool. I loved it. I loved the game. Um, you know, ran with pro players for a while from, you know, New York, uh, Jersey. And then I hooked up with my man, Bo Runnigan, from Minnesota. And I saw the level. And I said, um, nah, I'm not doing that. <laughs> it's, it's tough.
tough being a pool player. 100%. Yeah. I'd love to say that I want to be a pro. Yeah. But it, there's a lot of things, and like, especially life, I feel like yeah. there's not much of a life that you have that you should be having when you are a pro player. Well, it depends. I, I, would, I would agree. But you have to, if you do it in moderation, you'll be mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, for sure. Like, you know? I feel, um, TJ Steinhouse. Oh, yeah, that's my man. What's yeah. up, TJ? He's from, he works at CRS, actually. That guy shoots. He's really good, and he, like. Yeah. I played in the M8 State Masters. That's my man, too. What's yeah. his name? What's the guy who's uh, um, the head of that? He runs, uh, he used to run around with April Larson. Scott? Scott, yes, yeah. Scott. Yeah, what's up, Scott? Yeah. They win it every time. If you go to CRs, it's like his, his like, big checks on the walls. He, he wins a lot of money, and, but he, he has a life, you know? Yeah. Depends on, you know, depends on what you do. He just didn't go full pro. Right. Sometimes that happens. Life gets in the way. Yeah. Like, I want to have a family, you know, but yeah. I want to be a pro pool player. Yeah, I want to travel the world. Doing there you go. I love. Well, maybe you travel the world first, and then you have to. Yeah. All right. Ben Kleinfeld, you're leading. Ooh, this is a race of seven. It's kind of like um, Sophia and Bethany's match yesterday. I think they were playing on that table over there. Yeah. And it was just back and forth, back and forth, yeah. back and forth Ping until. Pong. Sophia won. Yeah, yeah. ping pong. Yeah. yeah. When you get those opportunities, you have to know how to capitalize. You don't capitalize. That's what happens. Yeah. Nice break there. Oh, boy. There's the two ball. It's looking like it's going to dress up. Hit him behind the seven. See, this would be a nice kick and stick shot, but he'll, mm. he'll push. Can stick you gotta hit it pretty flush yeah oh ryan stone in dayton ohio nice yeah there's a lot of there's a lot of little good pros out there who just don't take it i i think if the um if uh the uh risk was worth the reward like if you could win a uh pool tournament it was, it was like golf and you win a million dollars uh i think you find a way to uh have a family and play pool yeah. you know what i mean it's got to be in the hundreds of thousands if you win first. That's yeah. that's why I feel about it. These pros, though, like um, the European tour, mm -hmm. that that was pretty good money. I think top was thirty thousand for the mm -hmm. first place. Like tournaments like that, I yeah. feel like that's a good amount. I like that's yeah. a good amount of money. That's good money. Yeah, it's almost somebody's uh, yearly wage. Exactly. <laughs> But you know how good you have to be to Facts. make that kind of money? Facts. So good. Who ended up winning that? Oh, Alvin. Alvin uh, you know, it's man. funny. <laughs> so I was at pool, APA, when the finals were going on, and we were watching, me and my dad were watching um, it on D-A-Z-N. The zone? Yeah, the zone. Yeah, the zone. And I was like, I kind of want Alvin to win. <laughs> and he's like, what, what just happened? He fouled. He hit the uh, nine ball before the two ball. Oh, okay. Well, um, yeah, I was like, I want Elvin to win. He's like, yeah, just for that, Shane just lost. Like, he was like, you made Shane lose. And I'm like, <laughs> because I don't know. I, I really like Elvin, and I feel like he played so great during that he tournament. Does play and great. He deserved it so much. Like, I was rooting for him 100%. And then I was like, but Shane's from USA, this, that, this, that. But I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> he ended up winning. He shot great. Yes, he did. That was a fun tournament to watch I and keep it. up with. Yeah, it's great to watch him. I love it. I got something for you. You said Alvin, right? Mm -hmm. Hold on. Digging my, digging the crates here. See what I got. I think Brent should be out. He has ball in hand and nothing, nothing holding him up. Mm -mm. Everything's laid out pretty well. Four to the six might be the toughest, I think. Right. Mm. Oh, no, 
I have that guy here. That's a nice shot. There we go. So tired. It happens playing pool. You got to have your stamina up. And then tomorrow morning, if I'm keeping up with the hex tournament, I'm mm -hmm. keeping up with the brackets, but if the finals end up going to tomorrow, which I'm sure they will, me and my dad are just going to drive straight to CRs. Wow. Yeah, because I, I want to watch it. Yeah. And I think Shane or Alex Pagaline should definitely pull Alex off. Pagaline is a beast. One of them. They both went out in the 10 ball tournament, but I feel like they're really good 8 ball players. Especially Shane. Especially Shane. Yeah, That's he's his one game. of the best. Yeah, exactly. He's That's one of his the game. best 8 ball players. It's actually, I'm pretty sure him and Alex are playing right now. Hmm. Last time I checked, that match might take a while. For sure. We have a little fun here on the floor. I don't know where it is. I know I have pictures of. Ooh. Next time you see me, have it already pulled out in your That's phone. right. I'll be like, hey, put me in your man. Mm -hmm. I interviewed him when he won the International Open. He won. He had just won the uh, one of the matchroom events. Then he won something else. Then he won the International Open. He was just on fire, the guy. And that happens, too. Like, all of the pro pool players are all, like, the top ones mm -hmm. are always up there. But when it comes down to it, I feel like a lot of the times it's – that one person who will win like two, three big tens yeah. in a row, like their oh. name will be on the title. Yeah. Wow. Oh, he's gonna try to cut this. You out your mind. You, you make this. I'm, I'm going home. Cut this in. I'm going home, Brand. <laughs> Watch the scratch too, back and forth. Yeah. Yeah. I see, you know, right, right there, that shot. You bet the match on that shot. Mm -hmm. And now, then has a way to get there. I called it too. The four of the six was definitely the hardest shot. Oh, for sure. I would have like, I don't know. I wouldn't have cut that six, though. I know that. Mm-hmm. Sometimes you just got to duck. Open table safety something. Yeah. Exactly. Keep him on trouble. Oh, boy. Oh, he might. That. Mm. Way up. Yeah. <laughs> Ben's like, I'm, I'm making this ball. That's it. Did you meet Priscilla? I right. played her. You played yeah. her? Yeah. She beat me my first You know she's match. only been playing pool a year? Really? Yep. What? Mm -hmm. She plays other sports, but she really loves pool, and she's picking it up. That is crazy. Right. You know. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Super solid fundamentals, right? Yeah. Um, when my dad, after our ma my, yeah, our match was over, he was like, "Wow, like she definitely does drills." Like. Yes, she does. She. He was like, her cue ball control is crazy. Yeah. And. Although, like, she beat me, I think it was 7, what was it, 7-1 or 7-2, mm -hmm. I think. Mm -hmm. I I feel like I should have beat her at least 7-4. Like, yeah, the I, opportunities. I, yeah, mm -hmm. so many. That's how you got to do it. You have to take your opportunities in. You got to capitalize when you have them. That's oh, sure. man, Ben Kleinfelder, that was sweet. Very nice. Look at that position. Yeah. That's ball in hand shape. Mm -hmm. I can make that one. Yeah. All right, I moved 
the wrong way. Ben's on the hill. 63. I'm rooting for Brent, though. Yeah. I just I just pointed at him and told him that he got this. <laughs> I just met him, but he's he's a cool guy. He's cool, right? He's really funny. Yeah, yeah. Really funny. Oh, there's a lot. That we we try to keep the vibe light around. You know, here we're not with the funny stuff. You got to be a good person, and uh, you know, because every junior is striving to be better. Every junior wants, you know, yeah. You want what you want, and you're all American. So, you know, let's just try to get there. Cut all the BS. There we got there. This out is tricky. Yeah. This out is so tricky, I'm ducking. Bank the one over there and put the cue ball on the end rail. Or just roll it forward and put it on the floor. Yeah. Oh, that's mm. that's the only thing I didn't like about that because you put the one ball by the nine ball. You do that, you put yourself in trouble. Yeah. Mr. Hollingsworth. That's my guy right there. Yeah, I saw him over here for a good yeah. while. Yeah, he comes hang he comes hanged out. I noticed a lot of kids. Oh, I'm scratched. Mm -hmm. I noticed a lot of kids do. Come hang out. Yeah. Because yeah. I want them to. Yeah. You got to get, listen, here's the thing, right? Maybe somebody hears you and say, hey, she got a good head on her shoulders. I like what she said. Maybe I give her a sponsorship. But if you get on here and you're like, <laughs> you know what I mean? That would have been me two years ago. Well, good. I'm three glad I'm ago. glad it's not three years ago. Yeah. yeah. When I first started um, juniors, like mm -hmm. BNEA, yeah. the, my first year playing, I didn't talk to anyone anyone i was so shy but just this last year like i started talking more and being good. more you know good man this guy keep running into the table oh boy Fail. that was a good that was a try. good hit See, I like that. I like that. They just, hey, did I hit a rail? I don't know. Okay, ball in. Yeah. You know, none of the funny stuff. No trying to, to do tricks. Because normally when you like when when you don't know, which I feel like I don't know often, and I feel like it's because I'm so focused. Right. You know, I, and I'm still in that moment when the balls are still rolling. Watch this. So he's gonna thin the one and send the cue ball over there by the seven nine. The only thing, if he hits this one too thick, the one will, will catch the cue ball before he gets there. <laughs> oh, so man. Nice. That's the difference. <laughs> that was ugly. That would have been ugly. There's not much he can do here. Yeah. Well, you know. He could try to leave the cue ball by the right side pocket and the... Well, you know. This, One ball up table. That's what you do. Cut this ball right in the side real slow. Oh, God, that's a good one. Yeah. All right. Opportunity for Mr. Worth. Here's another one of those shots, right? You know, you jump out the window, you're looking to get on a three. This is this is difficult. You make a mistake, that guy's on a hill. He just needs one game. Yeah. Yeah, that's better. That's better. Make him make him beat you. Don't beat yourself. It's funny because when Apparently, when I played Bethany, she was on the hill, and I didn't even know. All of a sudden, she she won, and she came over here and gave me a handshake, and I'm like, good shooting. Like, I didn't even know. <laughs> it's like, oh, oh it's over? <laughs> <laughs> She's so good. Yeah. Yeah, she, she is. 
And she wasn't that good, Nina. Her little sister. Noelle? Was, yes. She, monster. She has been shooting so good. I've never seen her play before. She's but a monster. She was shooting so good this weekend. Allison Fisher had said uh, when we were in the PEF, she said, that little girl's going to be a champion. How old is she? Uh, she got to be 12 now. Her and Savannah. Savannah, Savannah Easton. Easton. The little rogue on her BB. Ooh. Leak. It was a good try. Oh, wait, yeah, he got there. Did he get there? Oh, yeah. I think so. Mm. Well. Mm. What is he looking at? He's looking to see, can I go behind the two and straighten this ball out with some draw? Shaggy, guess what? That one ball, that nine ball, is dead. He's looking at, you know, I take my chance. That one, that ball looks juicy. If he gives Ben Kleinfeld the ball in hand, Ben's just going to carry him off the one into the seven and make the nine. got to be careful here. I like, I like coming this way because if you, if you miss hit it, you break the combo up. Yeah. Ooh, nice. Mm. Hit. I think he got there. That was sweet. That was a nice hit. That yeah. was sweet. I'd always, always slow roll those shots. Yeah. It off. I think this puts you on the back of the three. You're not going to like it. Valley. Something about Brant, like he just, I, I don't know what it is, but he, even though I know he's kind of stressed right now, yeah. he looks yeah. like completely normal. Right, right. Well, that's what you better do, because if you, if you just get mad, you're just going to play mad. That's it. <laughs> you're not, not going to help you. He's shooting at this combo, though. take some work mm -hmm. during this time especially yeah uh, he can get out here he can get all the way out he needs to I'm rooting for him yeah Razor blade. Cut that ball in. I like your sayings. You like my sayings? Yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're not going to be boring up in here. Can't do it. I can't take it. I'm going to have you send the saying. Now he's going to play the two ball. Watch this position. He always strike his ball with a high ball, low ball follow. You have to be very careful. Watch. I can't stand it. <laughs> you gotta have a little bit of swag in your swag, a little bit. I hate bugs. Me too. That was a nice shot. Yep. Now, how would you? Where would you shoot your four ball at? 
Where are you going to shoot this ball? Well, from where he's at. Yeah, from mm -hmm. after he pops this two ball in. Um, bottom left. All right. And he's thinking about it. He's like, man, I got to get to the back of this six. But, see, trying to draw it just to get that lead for the upper left, mm -hmm. it's just doing the most. Right. Ex exactly right. Sometimes you, you, you just take the table off. Take what it gives you. Don't be greedy. Don't try to force it because you do, then you miss. See? Actually, I think he was trying to stun it on mm -hmm. the other side. I Whatever you're doing, that was, that was rough. I don't know. He could have just rolled that ball and shot the four yeah, down table. Yeah, exactly. But you know. Maybe he wasn't comfortable with that shot. He very quickly decided on that shot. Very good observation. That's what happens sometimes. Your brain gets quick. And this is on the lost side, right? Yeah. 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 You must want to go home. Right. <laughs> See, my dad's at the hotel, and I'm, I stayed. I'm like, I want to watch some pool. There you go. What up, Bo? Ooh. There we go. Opportunity for Brent. I know. I know he's got this, but yeah. pressure. Pressure really gets to you, no matter exactly. how much you don't think it does. Like you can oh, be no. like, oh, I wasn't nervous at all because you didn't feel it. Right. But you definitely oh, were yeah. nervous. No, it's very sneaky. Pressure is no joke. Mm-hmm. I like this town. I like this Iowa. Yeah. Yeah, this was, this was a great stop. I love this pool hall, too. It's crazy yeah. how many ni diamond yeah. knifers they have. It's nice and big, too. Yeah. Big shout out to Jim and Randy for having us down here. You know, I think Shooters is, no, I know Shooters is bigger. Wow. Yeah. It's big like that, huh? Every single time I'm not looking at the table, something like... Something funny happens? Yeah. Mm -hmm. If that ball was a little bit different, he'd, he'd jump that ball in that heartbeat. Which now he's too got close. Kick. Got kicked for his life. Be rabbit. Ooh, see, I had, a, <laughs> I had a feeling like if he didn't go in, it was going to be close. Man, that was, that was dead close. He caught the point. He almost made that ball. It's a great lead, too. Yeah. Not easy. Yeah. Here's the thing, though. You make this ball, you should win. Right. You got the seven hanging in the corner, the eights by the side. It's good money right here. He's sweating. Yeah. I'm, I'm sweating. I'm always sweating during the pool. Like, <laughs> yeah. I feel like my hands are always getting clammy. <laughs> you got to get past it. I noticed a lot of... Ooh, he, he did it the side. That was a great shot. Mm -hmm. It didn't look like... Oh, how, uh, that was a great shot. Yeah. But um, I was going to say, I was like, I'm looking at a lot of these kids' cues, mm -hmm. and a lot of them don't have wraps. Like, it's, they're wrapless. wrapless. Mm -hmm. I can never. Because you sweat, sweaty hands. That, but like, I mean, I feel like everyone's hand, like, when you're in, um, it depends on the pool hall, mm -hmm. but when you're in, like, a community, or, like, a... Hum human place, yeah. your hands are going to be more like sticky or the table's going to be more sticky. Right. And he's out here. Yeah, that's oh, my, that's cash money. Hold it, hold it. Oh, that's good. All right. Yeah, that's good. Coming up, Joey Tate versus Tanner. Tanner. Ooh. You want to sweat that? Yeah. All right, there it is. We are in the house. I haven't watched Joey play yet today. You didn't see him play? No. Mm. In for a treat. 